G'day team, Adam Kogan here from SSW TV and welcome to uh, tonight's tech news. Uh, we've got plenty of good news. Uh, we'll be talking about Visual Studio, Maui, GitHub, lots of other cool stuff. So, uh, and this is the first time I've been uh, presenting in a .NET, uh, sorry, a black shirt. Um, 404, developer not found. So I am now officially dark themed and uh, cool. So that's excellent. Now tonight's um, presentation after the tech news will be by William Liebenberg, is uh, a very strong Azure developer. He's very strong at .NET. Um, and also he really understands DevOps. And you'll be getting a nice tour. His session will be flexing your biceps with Azure. So what's in there? Well, if you want to be able to repeat your development, uh, so when you go into Azure and you're creating resources, you don't want to do that manually. You want to do it automatically. And the way you, you can do it by scripting it is using Azure Resource Manager or uh, ARM JSON. So we, we usually just refer to it as ARM templates. And what he'll probably tell you is don't use those. Um, he's a big fan of using a nice tool called Azure Bicep and he'll teach you how to use that and you'll really learn that's a much more efficient way of working. So let's get on to the news and what's the biggest news in our world uh, this month and it will be .NET MAUI because we don't stop talking about that. That is the best way to build mobile apps now and it's replaced Xamarin. And the devs here are really happy with it. If you like Blazor, you'll like .NET MAUI, it's really nice and they have this community run challenge. It's called Snippets. It's a beautiful site, but before we jump into that, I'll just play this little video so you get a bit of an insight into it. This UI challenge is basically to create lots of these little snippets so that we can share and build up this community. Now, if you have a look here, there's some Maui planets and uh, they want you to submit your samples. And essentially what they want you to do is build up this, um, this library. So uh, John Galloway from Microsoft, is uh, the main man, but the guy running this, it's a community project, but it's run by a Microsoft guy as well. So you can have a look at here and you'll see lots and lots of uh, nice bits of UI. And obviously we're gonna start seeing really, really nice UIs in uh, Maui, .NET Maui, and uh, this will give you a leg up. So this is an important site to know about. Um, next piece of news is uh, migrating to .NET 6. Now, migrating to .NET 6 is not an easy job. Uh, Microsoft have come down here and they've given us a tool to do this. So you can right click on here and go migrate project. And then you click start migration. So let's have a look at this uh, little video they've made us. And come over to the right, we go migrate project, come over here, click on the start migration link, pop open a dialogue, you'll migrate this, press next, and it will go ahead and uh, do that, press finish and off it goes. Now, it's not a panacea. If it's a little project, this will probably get you all the way to the finish line. If it's a very large project, we're migrating uh, Time Pro, uh, and that is a big project, and we're doing endpoint by endpoint by endpoint. And hopefully, we will be at the end of that very soon. All right, so lots of, um, lots of useful information here if you wanna get to .NET 6, and that will be uh, a lot of people. Next piece of news, and that is uh, going to be Visual Studio 2022. What's in 17.3, our latest one? Well, what do you think? Uh, they have put in here more Maui stuff. So previously to do Maui development, you need the preview version of Visual Studio, but now we can just use our normal one that we all have, uh, Visual Studio 2022. And uh, I guess I could just right click on this and have a look at what's in this image. And as you can see, .NET MAUI is front and center because that's what we all care about. Uh, you can also have the right click menu, force run to cursor. You can reopen closed documents just like you do in the browser. You can see tabs in multiple rows now and there's a nice all in one search. Uh, so you get uh, to be able to find all your stuff in a nicer UI. Okay, cool. Uh, what else do we have in here? Oh, get a load of this. Uh, now we can configure all the audio cues. Look at this. We've got a little Microsoft Visual Studio uh, group here. 
And so you can have things like um, different sounds for uh, line has a break point, line has an error, line has a warning. And uh, now you can kind of know what's going on by the, all the little sounds you get used to. Okay, very cool. Uh, some GitHub tooling stuff uh, and plenty more that I can see here. So, oh, this is pretty important. Microsoft Teams, uh, that's becoming bigger and bigger and obviously they've uh, improved the template and uh, done a whole lot of work there. And uh, yeah, it goes on and on and on. And we, oh, even live unit testing has some good stuff. So that's uh, excellent. So plenty of good stuff in Visual Studio 2022. What else do we have? Next news, what's new in Rider? Now I put this in here because uh, one rogue guy in our uh, SSW Brisbane office loves Rider and uh, he has influenced a whole group of other devs to be using that and they uh, enjoy using this. Uh, and the news for this month is Rider, which already supported .NET 6 as soon as it was released, is now converted under the covers. It is running itself on .NET 6. And if you want to read a page about why you should use Rider, well, you'll probably be reading for the next month. This is a massive page about everything they're doing. They're like, it's a monster. And it goes on and on and on and on and on about all the good new stuff. And it's long. All right. Next piece of news. I just like this bit, so I'll tell you. Uh, Oleski, uh, he's a Ukrainian. And he just uh, mentioned that... Uh, you know, in GitHub Markdown now, which is called GFM, uh, GitHub Flavored Markdown, because we now have different versions of Markdown all the time. Uh, this, see warning, has a different color and note has a different color. Uh, or you don't have to do anything special, just star, star, warning, star, star, and the same for note, and it will render just like this. Isn't that nice? Excellent. All right, next piece of news, GitHub Pages. Now a way of viewing your site if you deploy that way. You know, plenty of people are, de are developing static pages. Uh, we do a lot of Gatsby and Next.js. You have your site in GitHub and then you deploy it to where you choose. If you're choosing GitHub pages, which is a popular one, they're trying to make it even more popular, obviously. You used to have to create a branch, but now they just allow you just to deploy straight from where you are and good to go. So one less step and it will get more traction for GitHub pages. Next piece of news, and this is the next big news, and that is the .NET Community Toolkit 8.0. So if you are a um, Blazor developer or a Uno developer or a Maui developer, you're gonna care about this because you love MVVM. Any .NET developer uh, can use this. The .NET Community Toolkit has a whole lot of stuff in there. So um, state management is a, is a difficult one. You can use this. This is an oldie, but a goodie, but they've updated to .NET 6. So there's a lot of um, good stuff in here. And what have we got here? Oh, look, you've got this little um, uh, contacts view. Uh, if you ever see anyone use it with this in it, you know where they got it from. Uh, it's a nice little selection, etc. cetera. So, uh, uh, you can grab that. There's the .NET 6 support. Uh, you can thank Sergio. He's awesome. He, uh, this is a Microsoft supported one. Uh, the project it's in is uh, in here in, in the community toolkit. Uh, if you want to, uh, you want to see how popu oh, popular it is, I guess you could look in NuGet and see there it is. Uh, you can come over here and see like, you know, this has got a serious amount of downloads. You could also come back here, I guess, and look at um, insights and look at the contributors. Who are the contributors? I won't look over the whole project length, but I'll just look over, you know, 2022 or something. Let me just look at that little section. Yep, you can see Sergio's doing all the work. There's a few other guys doing a few commits here and there, but it's, uh, mainly uh, this guy, a Microsoft employee who's um, doing most of the work there. All right, I'd like to finish on a little bit of fun. And my little bit of fun just happened a few minutes ago. Uh, I just found out that uh, Airbnb have a new developer. How do I know? Because everybody that has the Airbnb app just got this message. Test, test dev. So if you think you had a bad day today, somebody had a worse day. <laughs> All right. So hopefully uh, that news was helpful. And um, if I missed any good news, please throw it down there in the comments. We all love to learn. 
Uh, there's plenty of other good videos here on SSW TV and lots of other news. Um, and this is Adam Kogan signing off for SSW TV.